What's up, man? 25 Gamer. Let's go ahead and hop into the Scheme of the Week full gameplay commentary. And remember, we are using the Dallas Cowboys offensive playbook. We're using the uh, Carolina Panthers uh, defensive playbook, more specifically the 4-1-6 package uh, in that playbook. Uh, looks like he elected to kick off. And with Denver Broncos, they have weapons all over their on all assets of their team, especially their kick returner, Trenton Holiday. Here you're going to see, um, go ahead and get this kick return back. And that's one thing I really like about Denver this year is almost every kick return if you get the right blocking and you get and you got you know you don't have to worry about uh, being able to run kicks back because Trenton Holiday is a phenomenal phenomenal kick returner so that's going to save us a possession which is a great start uh, it's always good to get seven <laughs> on the opening kick but let's go ahead and hop into the defense I'm really excited about the 416 uh, the 416 package is very good if you guys run it properly now there are some uh, things that uh, remember we need to learn, you know, blitzing only from certain positions on the field and doing all that stuff. And remember, that's what I'm liking to do this year as far as kicks. If you want to kick it deep, you want to kick it all the way to the left, full power, full accuracy, and then you want to um, run down with the kicker and just stay wide. And sometimes I'll just stop uh, and let the let my other guys make plays for me. So remember, our base play is the sugar cover three buff. But since he's on the right hash, I'm going to go ahead and set up some pressure uh, from the right here. Move Cromartie in. I got Quentin Carter over the middle. Go ahead and pass commit. Just kind of watch for the run here. Play action. Throw it right in behind me. That's horrible defense by me. i got to be way more disciplined if I'm going to be uh, Quentin Carter on that play. All right, so... Play action off the snap. That's good. The one problem with the 416 is the play action blocking. When they call play action plays, the blitzes don't always come in for some reason. Uh, that's the one issue I've found with it. So, all right. So, since he's in the middle of the field, I'm going to go with more of a basic uh, cover three bluff here. And that's a good that's a good route combination right there. There's nothing I'm going to I mean, we had everything he wanted quick covered. It's just we, you know, just kind of had to... Live to fight another day here. No huddle. Watch for the run here. Let's see. Back. Oh, oh, come on. Three of them. Catch a ball. Come on. Uh, right there, I just went with the maximum coverage defense out of the Sugar Cover 3 Bluff. Uh, I should have probably gone to the zone. But I, I felt more comfortable in the Cover 3 Bluff there. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, remember, uh, when we, we, we go to this play, we like to run the, the cover two buzz invert. Reblitz Miller. Run outside, we got to get out there, and there we go. That's the beauty of this run defense, guys. It, it takes away those big uh, runs that a lot of people like to do. All right, we're going to run the same play. Hopefully, we can watch for those quick passes over the middle. And just try to make sure pressure comes in. Watch for the running back. He really hitting him. There's me. What the freak? Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. I was sitting right in front of the running back holding triangle. Holy cow. That was retarded. All right. So that's a bummer. Uh, I'm going to send right edge pressure, and I'm going to put the outside corners in flat zones. Shoot. I messed up my blitz. Pick the ball. Ugh. Good play. So, a decent drive by him. Uh, on that drive, I felt my defense had two or three opportunities to make an interception, and they just never... Ooh, we got blocked. Oh, that's luck right there. <laughs> that's the first kick I've ever blocked in this game. Oh, my gosh. Uh, so, of course, he comes out on that gig. Um, thanks, I'm glitching. But, uh, what was I going to say? On that drive, I felt like my defense did a good job. I, I, I was in position on a couple plays. I like the iPhone Pro he's running. I feel like I got a kind of a grasp on what he's going to do. He's going to run quick steps to the tight end and the running back combination of those two things. Um, and I feel like I can kind of get in front of that if I want to. It's just kind of I got to get that interception there. Uh, drop two two picks, so that's that's just part of the game. All right, so let's get started with this offense. We know starting out that's typically going to be open. It's just Hillman doesn't always see eye to eye with me and wants to catch the ball. But um, I've been doing some other stuff with the Broncos. Uh, I might have another scheme of the week out for them. That their team could do a lot of stuff with Peyton Manning quarterback, but you just kind of keep it. Um, you just want to keep him 
in the pocket. You don't want to try to run like read option. There's the there's the out route, and that's the beauty of this our offense is that we can really go quick, 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 and, and, and get a lot of yards after catch with these great receivers on Denver. Uh, like I said, I think I said earlier in the week they're probably the best, and this is going to be wide open to the back. But um, they're probably the best receiving core in Madden, in my opinion, just because they got three good serviceable targets at wide receiver. They've got a t like three good tight ends. You can do a lot of stuff, and then a running back who can catch out of the backfield and has decent speed. Uh, here, I'm gonna just ch see what he's doing here. I'm gonna call the slip screen, and I'm actually gonna put a smoke screen out there. Two smoke screens. So if he's on his own blitz, he's gonna be in trouble. Um, we'll just run it with Peyton. Uh, I found that. Even though Peyton Manning is not mobile, he can still, uh, if they're if they're a drop, everybody back like they did there, uh, he's still a viable option. Um, so here we're going to go down into our running set out of the single back dice slot. And we're going to just test the waters. We're just going to try and power it in with uh, Hillman here. Quick snap off the no huddle. And that's a pretty good drive. Oh, we didn't get in that time. But, I mean, we're still, I mean, we'll get in here. But uh, the beauty of this, this offense and more specifically, the the Cowboys playbook in in general is we can do a lot of stuff out of this three wide receiver personnel, and it's just a really just a really great uh, package to have. Now, another playbook that you may consider would running with Denver. If you go back a couple of weeks in the scheme of the week, you may check it. I may actually have to redo it because I, I know some of the videos may not have worked right. The Dem or the the uh, Giants playbook, there's not, but I think one play on it where. Excuse me. I think there's actually no plays that are core plays. I think they only have one read option in the entire playbook. But as far as core plays that we would run on a, on a you know down to down basis, there's nothing really for the quarterback to scramble. Um, so and you see how I just hold there and they pick me up, and so it gives my guy an opportunity to go get the uh, receiver. I may have to do a little uh, may have to do a little beginner tip on that. Show you guys how to do that. Um, all right. So defense back on the field. Um, I think he's. I think he's gonna struggle if we play an inside-out game with his um, fullback. The, I feel like that. There's the. Uh, there it is. Oh, there's three guys there. Come on. All right. So we're starting to catch on. Though we see the post over the middle to the tight end. So I'm gonna put Phillips on him. I'm gonna put Knight and man him up on the running back. I've got the user stick over the middle. And Woodyard, you've got to make that play, buddy. So it looks like he's gonna he's running a lot of zone beating concepts. So we're gonna go to the base man here. And we actually may drop out. We just have to watch for the corner routes and stuff. I would run it here if I were him to keep me back. I'm gonna pinch my linebacker over the middle. Uh so knew that was coming. Dang it! Uh, I thought Harris could keep up with him. Good play by him. Who's fourteen? Who is that? Show me the back of his brown. Crap, I don't remember who that is. All right, he's gonna have to go for two here. Uh, so here we're gonna go with the um, the sugar two buzz. Man, I can't believe I just ah. Uh, that's the thing. This defense is good, but it's risky. So that's kind of the thing. All right, let's see what he does. Oh, he's gonna run this one. Oh, yeah, that's kind of the one thing. If I'm not using the safety, it leaves the gap. So, but I should have got on the safety there. All right, so two drives uh, for him, one main drive for me. Uh, he's got a touchdown on both, but I've kind of caught on, so I feel like in the second half I'm going to be able to lock it. It's just kind of i got to get enough adjustments in. And Trenton Holiday is a boss. Oh, man, I, I wish I could have got that seal. I, I would have been, been like big-time yardage, but it wouldn't have been good because you wouldn't have got to see some of the scheme. Uh, here, so let's get it back into the Cowboy Y out. That's, I mean, like I said, you know, like we say with all of our base plays, we like to run them about 10 to 15 times per game, and it's very, we, we like to make it a play that's very difficult to stop. Um, so that's just I said, you know, right there, you know, you could, you, I could have fed, you know, as I showed in practice, but I probably could have fitted that into the, to the running back, but the, the wide receiver was so open, it's just like you take what the defense gives you. Uh, here, I'm probably gonna hit Welker. No, I have the running back here. Oh, he's dropping max coverage, so I'll just take the drag with Welker. Ah, oh, that was a horrible animation, Welker. Make the simple, easy catches, buddy. All right, so he's running a lot of zone. So I'm going to check down that single back uh, wide trips here. 
Where's it at? And I'm gonna run the smash and the curl flat to the left. Oh, too early, Cody. Dad got it. Ugh. You got a little antsy there on that one. That was got a little got a little antsy there. Dang it. Got a little excited because I called the right play at the right time and I just I uh, just missed him. All right, third and ten. This is where you go to your money play. No matter what, I mean, this is Cowboy Way out all day. Out route left should be wide open. Yep, wide open. That's why you use out routes instead of cr Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. Dang on it. All right, so, but I mean, that's a perfect example there. You want to use out routes instead of curl routes, uh, at least... For majority of the game, because out routes are gonna, if the defensive linemen are in, are in purple zones and they don't and they don't like wiggle them around or anything, then they're gonna um, the out routes are gonna get they're gonna beat those purple zones. So even though the purple zones get, are gonna eventually get out there, the the purple zone would stop a curl, stop a stop it out, uh, and that's just kind of the way. I, that's why we use outs instead of curl routes. If we can, but in a situation where you don't have a smart route opportunity, obviously you're going to need to use the curl routes. All right, so here I got him kind of. I got an idea. I'm going to do is make an adjustment. I'm a man Carter up here, and I got the running back double covered pitch. And that's what I like about the 416. It does a great job against the outside runs like stretches and tosses. So right there, I mean, I wasn't even done setting the play up. He, caught, he quick snapped me on that one. That was a good play by him. Uh, second and seven. Um... Let's just sit in a two-man under, and we're going to put Phillips here in a purple, Nitton in a hook, and we're going to quarterback spy airs and see what he does. Nah. Counter. There we go. And as I said, four and six is good against runs like that. Dives are probably best. Uh, if you're facing this defense, you probably, I think dives would be the best. All right, so my responsibility here is the running back. I got the deep blues. I got the skies cushion. My main job is to stop the running back or the quick slant over the middle here. Oh, yes. Good D. So what I did there, and let's talk about that real quick. I manned up Carter because he has the inside position. I knew that the tight end would be either on a post or a slant. So I wanted to have that, uh, that under coverage. So I manned up the safety that was in a deep blue on the slant, and then I knew I had to cover the running back. That's kind of how you would stop something like that. Um... All right, for the five, I really want to play a roll coverage. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to send six. And we have got to watch. There we go. So right there, um, if you guys remember uh, earlier in the game, he was throwing me with that, hitting me with that running back route. And what was going wrong was I was not, I was in the position but I was letting myself get out of position on, on the slant. And so right there, what happened was I yellowed the two. With, when I yellowed the guys, it prevented him uh, from, and I baseline twice. It, it, it confused him, and he was trying to hit the running back because last time the tight end was covered, and this time the running back was covered, and, and that was just kind of like an adjustment that we made on, on the fly there. So luckily he didn't try to go deep on that play, and that's what a gamble is. And that's not, not, earlier in the game we gambled, we got beat over the top. This time we gambled and won, and that's kind of how it goes sometimes. And Hillman drops another one. Dang, Hillman. Four, I would be a perfect score right now if Hillman could catch. <laughs> oh, I called the wrong play. Crap. All right, so third and inches. Uh, second inch, what I was just trying to do there was get the first down. I should have gone to a shot play or something. Um, third down and inches, I still feel like I can kind of shoot, like take a shot here. He's going to be in maximum coverage defense. I know this. So I'm going to try and pop him with a wheel route. And just see, I can. I know I can playmaker. I know I have that option. And there's Welker finding a hole in the zone like he always does. Good play by Welker there. I mean, that's just the situation. We knew he was going to be in max coverage. We were going to take a chance um, of just giving my guys some time to run free and just see what they could find in the holes, and eventually they found one. So that's just a situation where maybe wheel routes sometimes get open against Max. They didn't there, but luckily what happened was they could. They eventually found a hole. And then here, I really like this for Max coverage, this little screen. 
Um, didn't work out for me there, but you, I mean, you see the idea. We should get a lot of blockers over there. Um, and now we're just going to run a power row out of the same look, just to kind of show, hey, we can do this. I mean, cavalry out would be open, but I forgot to grab it when I came out. And we're just trying to power in here. Third and goal. Uh, this is where you go to your money play. I mean, the, you know, there's a lot of different plays that you know are in this game, but when you have an offense like this and and you have a lot of plays you're supposed to, you're going to go to your money play down here. And if you guys don't know, um, I know I've said it a couple times, but the single back dice slot uh, bubble screen, it, it makes it work like the problem fade from last year. So when they bounce out like he see just bounce out there, then we just double fade over there, and we have a zig to the tight end and a fade to Decker. It, it was just a lob shot. And there we get the animation we want to get from Welker. So... That's what we like to do with the double fade on the left and the double sets. Uh, last year we learned it from problem, and this year, you know, it, it just kind of carried over. So we've been using that in situations where we need uh, something in the red zone. I don't show it much, but I do always have to, you know, I always know that I have it in a lot of playbooks. You know, Dallas has it in their playbook. That's what I think makes them one of the better playbooks because of Cowboy Y out, you have that. And then you have all the, the, the standard stuff that we have from the trips and the doubles and all that. And then we also have that that bubble screen and just in case we need something in the red zone. And see here, I just hold. Um, there I got off the kicker, though. That was so stupid. And you see, that's what happens. You get off the kicker, and then you get, you get burnt. But if you don't get off the kicker, I haven't really given, uh, I haven't really had trouble when I, when I sit there and just hold him there. All right. So we had a really good stop last possession. Uh, coming out here. I just gonna see how he's gonna handle this uh, pressure. I want the two spies for the running back man up on the tight end here, and I know. Yep, there's your post route. There's four of us. Come on, man. He's getting lucky on that post route. Um, let's just go man under double blue. Uh, we're gonna back these guys off though, and just simple max coverage here. Yep, that's got him. So, so now I mean, we just, you know, that's one of the things, and that's why we use a baseman coverage. And that's why I go over it every week, because right there is a perfect example. He got um, in a situation where he didn't really know. Um, he want he wanted to go to the tight end, but he didn't know he didn't know what to do if that was covered. And that was a good read. That was a good switch up there. But he didn't know what to do if that was covered, and then he ended up uh, coverage sack. So that's what we like about that. That was just a, a a very undisciplined play call by me. I went right back to the same thing, and that was just stupid of me. Um, make a couple adjustments on this. We're manning up the guy for the post route. We got to watch. We're gonna user bump the tight end. <sighs> And RB SWAT, there we go. And uh, you guys, I'm telling you right now, if you are trailing as I was there, if you're if you're in front of him, you definitely want to go for the pick. If you're trailing, I really am a big fan of RB SWAT this year. LB or RB SWAT, whatever you want to say it. All right, and I know that I got to get these guys back. Uh, we got man on one side. We got a couple zones over here. We're just gonna let the play run and see what he's doing. There's a post. Can we nice play by Woodyard, um, and that's where we click on. We go for the catch tackle, and we just tried to light him up as soon as he came over the middle. I think I ended up getting somebody hurt. Phillips got hurt on that play. We'll substitute Irving in for him. And third and ten, we're gonna uh, send our left edge zone blitz. We got the middle. This is just the basic yellow. Ooh, good. Ooh, he dropped. I got lucky there. So uh, that's the sugar three seam, and we just kind of combined it with a couple of other reads, uh, a couple of other adjustments there. So you guys know I do that. We're going to have to hold him to a field goal here. A uh, good drive by him overall. I mean, that's – he he caught me he caught me in a bad defense once ended up crushing my my, my whole drive, uh, but I did sh I, we saw some good things there we also saw uh, and when he wants to really when he really wants to pass unfortunately Phillips is gonna be out for the game, but uh, when he really wants to pass he was going to that um that, that uh, five wide there so we know now he has a streak a, a streak out and uh, I think it was a curl I saw so we just need to make sure that next time we see that we we plan for that same play. And that's why I say that's why you get a traded holiday. I mean, you, you it's average starting field position of 40 if they kick deep. I mean, that's 
That's why you get. That's why. That's one of the biggest strengths I think on the Broncos is not only do they not not only do they have probably the best offense personnel wise, and one of the better defense for a time, but they got a special teams unit that is just super great. I think that's what makes them a top top tier team in the game because a lot of guys have good offense and good defense, but do you have that special teams that at any point can take the distance? And there, that's when you. Uh, that's what I like about Cowboy Way Out is when they go to cover zero blitz, um, you have potential. If you hit the right read and you make one man miss, you're gone. So, and that we make them pay for blitzing right off the bat and almost force them into a max coverage defense. So that's why we like the Cowboy Y out there. Uh, and like I said, you know, we've ran it about probably seven, eight times so far. You're probably going to see it about seven or eight more times. I mean, the play is so dynamic. But we have seen from the tape and, and from what we've studied so far in this game that he's been running a lot of um, a lot of zone when he wants to. And then when he pressures, he's going to run man. So something that can beat one man. Oh, Vaughn Miller's down. That's not good. Dang. We're losing players left and right. Um... But yeah, that's what that's what we've seen so far. So keep a lookout for that. Um, let's see what we got here. Play action. Ooh, I was gonna jump that slant. I think it's where he was going. He just couldn't get the ball off. Now we're gonna play drop back. Uh, we need to watch out for the tight end though. Pick. Oh, Champ Bailey, you don't drop interceptions, buddy. Come on. So, right up. Oh, losing everybody. Von Miller's out now. That sucks. That's He's practically Denver's defensive line. Dang, going it. I got someone I could put in there. Marshall. Yeah, Marshall was the guy I liked. Okay, third and 17. Um, you send six here, I mean, every single time. Um, and then you just play drop back D. Remember, they see there's that spread again. Just watch out for the corners. Hit him and knock the ball loose. That's what I say. I have had a lot of success when they're running post routes. If you don't go for the interception, you just catch tackle. Especially in that situation there. where they, Even if they caught it, it would have put us in a really good uh, situation to stop, stop whatever they were going to do. Fourth down and three opportunities. So here he's going to punt, held him to punt now. So that's about two, three stops, which is uh, really actually pretty good for this guy. I mean, he's got a good offense. I mean, he's mixing up his plays and stuff. So definitely good stuff from this guy. All right, so let's see. We got, and you never kick the ball. Oh, that's just a bad read by me. But you'd never want to kick the ball to Trenton Holiday deep. Um, the offense is, is flawless right now. I mean, really nothing nothing that I could say bad so far about the offense. I wish I could catch more. I wish I could be a little bit more efficient. I, I know I missed a couple passes so far. so. But this offense is, is phenomenal. Especially, you see, I mean, this guy's just giving me these, these outs. Probably going to be drop back. But I know I have the out because he doesn't have anybody out there. The off coverage is what tells me I have the out there. So that's that's what I'm saying. You know, I know I say the out route is my second, usually second read if they're off. But if they're off coverage and there's nobody in the slot D, like right here, I'm almost always going to take the out route because they just can't get over there fast enough to stop him. And that's why I say, you know, you come out in this play if they don't give you what you want to look, if they don't give you a look you want to see. See now he's pressing. Now I'm going to audible out and probably go to something else. And you know, typically when they do something like this, we saw earlier it was cover two sink drop back D. So we're going to go into the smash here and try to actually hit it on the right timing this time. We're going to put a slant this time instead of an out. Yep. Cover two sink. And that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You, you go, 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 out route, out route, out route, out route, force the cover to sync call, and then they call cover to sync. You read it properly pre-snap because you saw the press coverage. Go to your smash play. Even if they weren't cover to sync, we have other reads, but that's the main core idea there. So that's actually perfect for what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, here, Cowboy Y out, definitely here. I think I can hit the running back right out of the backfield. Yep, good, good read by Peyton Manning. And... Um, get on the board. Now, there uh, is a situation where, you know, some of us, some man players will, will play it differently. Some man players will just knee out the ball. They're trying to trying to prevent the other uh, team from having another possession. I am feeling really confident right now in my defense, and I like to give my defense another chance to stop. That's just my personality. It doesn't always work out for me. Sometimes it works out great. I'll get a pick and score again, or sometimes I give up a point, and remember, he gets balled half, and that could really hurt my 
hurt my chances of winning this game. But uh, right there, the smash was wide open. It was probably one of the only times we we're going to see a look like that for that uh, from that guy as, as that much of a tell that he was going to do it. So we went ahead and took advantage of that. All right, uh, we're going to start out with the drawback D. We're going to man up a couple guys here. And we're just going to say, all right, let's see. He's probably going to go. Yeah, that's fine. Hit hit Joe Flacco. I mean, right there, that's just, I don't really use a spy uh, when I play this drawback D unless I, unless I feel like I should. Um, just because majority of the time, if, if you wanted to, Crap, I'm not doing good. Hold on a second. So, if yeah, if you wanted to, though, you could throw a spy. I mean, here now I'm going to spy, and then I see that, and that's a coverage sack, and there you go. And that's exactly what we'll go back to my point earlier. I trust my defense enough, and a lot of people don't trust their defense this year, and that's why they would do what I just said. But I trust my defense enough. I'm willing to do that. It's going to give me an opportunity to make a play. Sometimes I'm going to get burnt with it, but when I'm staying disciplined like this, and I knew that that max coverage was giving him a trouble, a hard time, and we're going to take advantage of that here. Um, we're just going to take a draw here. Uh, just kind of see what he... If he, he, uh, he hasn't sent much pressure. So that time he was sending it. Okay. Uh, probably going to see drop back D here. I'm going to go to the um, the dice slot here. I'm going to run the, the levels. See what I get here. Yep, drop back. Uh... Plenty of time. I think I could hit him. Yep, nice cut. And right there, I saw that um, defensive lineman zone coverage. If you guys don't know anything about uh, the way the game works, there's a, a rating called zone coverage, and it affects how well they react to, to zones and stuff. Right there, I saw that um, Eric Decker. Um, I saw he was cutting back, and I just knew that. The linemen were the, the he was cutting back across the linemen were who were guarding. I knew they didn't have the zone coverage rating to stay with him. I knew I could if I pass lead it, pass lead it uh, better uh, good enough that I could potentially hit him. And at this situation with with a thirty five point uh, with a thirty five points on the board, you're taking you're taking uh, anything that the defense gives you. And I, I really thought that I could hit that there. Uh, here we're just trying to again preserve it. Thirty two seconds is enough time for a good drive if he's a good you know and. It's just kind of like, what do you want to give up here? And, and this is where you're not going to give up the outside, but you're definitely not going to just sit back and max coverage defense. So see here, I'm going to give up the middle. I'm, I'm in the middle right here manually, but they're going to be able to get me middle. There you see, that's a good adjustment. Uh, right there, if you guys remember earlier on in the, in the game, I think that he was running two slants from the left side out of that formation. And so I just instinctively manned up that linebacker just because I knew that that would be a potential uh, read he may have. All right, here, one guy underneath. Everybody else is drop back. I got a Yep, that's good, D. Um, what we're trying to do, and this is um, – there's a reason why he doesn't have a whole lot of people open – is he may have people open. His primary target right now is to hit the outside corners. He's not worried about, um, he's not trying to um, go over the middle necessarily. And here i got to get over. i got to watch that corner. See, I'm willing to give that up, and here's why. He's got three timeouts. He's got to burn them when he goes over the middle. Whereas when he goes to the outside, he's not got to worry about the, the timeout problem. So that's why I'm sending pressure, and I'm making sure that there's only one guy in the middle of the field. So he's looking at these outside routes, but they're covered because I'm sending so much heat, and I'm just in the middle of the field here. So here again, another another look here. I'm in the middle of the field, and I got lucky there. Dixon's dropped two big passes for him. He's been open twice on that seam pass, and that was just a lapse of judgment. I got to talking too much. I wasn't paying attention. Um... Okay, second and long. This is uh, a situation. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a little risky here. I'm gonna go with ahead and go with a drop back D, uh, and I'm gonna man up on Dixon just because he's kind of getting a feel that I'm sending heat. So now, oh my gosh, that's why you have to use her that deep blue zone because it gets manipulated in this game. And I just did. I didn't get onto him in time. I was I was uh, working on something else uh, with the D here. Alright, here, man up, man up. Now I got the deep blue. Uh, oh, what in the world are you doing, Harris? 
Golly, and that's what I'm saying. That's your risk. That's the risk you run. You run, you run risks like this. You know, two two mistakes defensively, and they're I mean they're down the field. That's why you got to be on top of your. That's why you got to be on top of things. That's why you got to be. And that's sometimes I get into a little bit of a problem with is I adjust too much to the play sometimes pre snap, and I'll I'll make too many adjustments and not not I sell myself short and I get on the wrong player. That time I made one too many adjustments. Um, ended up screwing myself over. Uh, here, this is just a simple situation. Depending on what he does on the pre snap, and that's why I like to have everything in my everything all at the line of scrimmage. But depending on what he shows me, I'm either going to run the cowboy Y out or I'm going to run the uh, slip screen. Depending on how many people, if he's just man up, um, I really like this look for the slip screen. All right, and then we're going to have one route going deep. We're just gonna roll out. Okay, so we're definitely gonna take a shot here. We can. We're gonna get an offsides call there. Go ahead and replay that down. Um, there, I was just trying to see if I could get a lob ball or something. What? Why does that take? I didn't know that. Holy cow! That's the stupidest thing. He was offsides, and he. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I had never knew. I never knew that they could do that. They go off sides, and the clock runs, and it still takes you. To, that's the stupidest thing. Oh well. Uh, what I was going to try to do there was I was trying to take the penalty, the offsides penalty, and then run a play again. But apparently, you can't do that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we're going to play drop back and try not to get burnt over the top this time. All right. Drop back D. And I know I can send pressure at any point, and he knows I can do that as well. Actually, I'm going to drop this guy into a spy. Ayers into a spy here. And, oh my gosh, there's... Son of a biscuit. That's so targeted. Had a dude right there. Alright, now I'm blitzing. I'm done playing drop back D. Press. Yeah. Should have picked that. Okay, now you see the curls. Um, this is where you put yellows up there. And you're still saying, you know, you still have a dude deep, so you're good with the disguise cushion coverage feature. It's going to play deep long enough. You see their tackle, catch tackle, I mean, that's fine. That's, that's perfectly fine because the point is not necessarily to, and now we need to get into a two-man under because he's been roasting us too much. But, all right, so... Dang it, one adjustment too many. I'm probably burnt. Yep, quarterback's going to be able to run now. Come on, come on. Hit him, hit him. How does he not fumble? He's Joe Fluco. Oh, my gosh. All right, he's ha he had trouble with that. I'm going to show him that again. Um, but I've got to man align now. i got to start man aligning. All right, show him that I'm maybe sending pressure here, possibility. I need to send, I do need to be able to send pressure if that happens again. And that's what I'm saying right there. He's, he's, he's having trouble in the max coverage of, of moving with Flacco because Flacco's not as mobile as a guy like Kaepernick or something. So I feel confident sitting back, but at the same time, uh, I am going to send something. Uh, here I'm going to send Heat now just because he's having trouble. He He's seen max coverage twice, but I know I'm going to watch out um, for this route right here. Who throws a sick route? That going. <sighs> okay, so zig routes out of that. Uh, you haven't shown me that yet, I don't think so. Now we know zig routes and streaks on that side. Uh, okay, mana, mana. I've got a user to run though. Ah, I got greedy on that. Dang it. Uh, another play what happened with, uh, I called the uh, sugar two buzz. It wasn't. It's not actually a play. I don't think I went over. It. It's. It's basically the same thing as the sugar three DB fires in the in the sugar three scene. It's just the same. It's just a left side pressure. What I was trying to get um, was I was trying to force him to run. I was trying to get the big hit and the lock it up like three yards in the backfield. Unfortunately, I overcommitted to the outside run. And then, and then gave up that, that easy cutback lane. That was just a bad, a good read by him and a bad play by me. I've been playing 
not as good as I normally do. Oh, dang it, trading holiday. Like, I I could play, I could not, you, I would not play office. I just kick return. <laughs> okay. So the offense is gonna. I mean, we know the offense will score. Um, it's just a matter right now of, of when do we want to give him the ball back. But right now, I'm just gonna take what the defense gives me, showing me he's gonna put him in a purple. But I still like the uh, the drag routes this year to beat the max coverage zones, just because it's a quick five. It's a and if you throw a memory, if you five, you got five yards every play, you're gonna go wide down the field and score. And here, I really like. I don't think he's gonna. Is he in a purple? Yes, yeah, he's in a yellow or something. I don't know what he's putting him in. It's either a deep blue or a, a hook zone. And he is not uh, playing the the out routes very well. Here we're going to go to Cowboys Corners. Haven't shown him this play yet. Looking mainly for the blue route to get under. Maybe break a tackle. Look at Hillman being a boss. Look at Hillman being a boss. That was that was a lot better than I thought was going to happen. It looked like I was going to get stopped in the backfield. Hillman just had other plans. Um, all right, here. Here, I'm just going to take some run. I'm going to run the ball here. I, I haven't ran much, and I know I, I passed once for this, ran once for this. I want to show him that these runs, because these runs are actually pretty pretty solid overall as I get stopped in the backfield, but typically you can, you can use those. Um... Uh, oh, we're going to attack his formation here in a second. Uh, I'll show you what I was saying about that bubble screen. You see how he's wh wheeling that guy out, and then, you know, he doesn't always come back in? We can take advantage of that because of the way he's doing it. So we can run left or right here. This situation, he's strung left. And we just take it and then power down the middle. And just take your quick your quick three, four yards. I mean, it's not like you're... It's not like it's a run that's going to, you know you're going to go to the house with all the time, but it's just something to, to throw another look. And then now you quick snap, and now they don't they don't get out on that out route, and Demarius Thomas makes a huge drop for me. But, okay, so here's decision time. You're up two possessions. Um, if you kick a field goal, you're going to go up two touchdowns. If you go for it, though, you could potentially be up three possessions by the end of this drive. Uh, I would much rather be up three possessions than up two touchdowns just because... The defense has been, you know, the defense hasn't been playing great, but it's been playing well enough to win with the two injuries we've suffered. And and again here, you know, you see how he's moving these guys out. Um, I just really like this look. We haven't hit him with this all game. We're gonna look to a quick out to Decker here. We're gonna put him on a hot route out route. Look to that quick. If that's not there, we're going back to the running back. We're just gonna watch the alignment here. It's there, so we're gonna take it. And Decker. Um, makes a really clutch catch there. So what we did is we, we set that up all game. We're going out, route, left, out, route, left, out, route, left. And eventually what I end up, we'll, uh, he's really starting to try to take that away. And so what I, what I could do with that is I can easily hot route and out route to the right side. And he hasn't seen it all game. And then fourth and seven, you use a clutch play like that. And just take your running back there. I mean, that's and that's been there all game. Um, he's just, you know, I've been able to hit bigger, um, bigger and better targets right now. But you see, that's been there all game from the fir first go, and that's the power of that route. And then now we're just going to, there he covered it well, so we're going to take our late read and uh, hit Julius Thomas. Now we're going to mix in a run here. Try to just, you know, now we're starting to think here, okay, so how can I give him the ball back with too, uh, too little time for him to do anything with it? Um, because in this situation, I mean, your third quarter, six-minute quarters in, in the fourth, uh, you're looking at two possessions, maybe three possessions each team. So, right now I'm just thinking, I don't really want to give him the ball back until the fourth. So I'm trying to make the most out of these three downs. I, I ran once. Quick drag the other time. This time I'm going to go. And here's the power of the bubble screen. If they don't have anybody over him, you're just going to snap and then throw it. And then you can, you know, maybe break a tackle or something. Well, Welker. Offsides penalty there. Uh, obviously going to accept that. Uh, so it's going to give me another down to play with. Okay, so. And that, that, that halftime, like I told you, I was telling you guys, the halftime. Halftime thing, kill me. He scored. We had him like um, we had him at 17. 
Next thing you know, it's 31 points because he got balled half. And that's what I was saying earlier. Sometimes it works, as you saw earlier in the game, but then sometimes it doesn't work, as you saw, as we're seeing right now. So now we're having to be a little smarter with the ball. Um, go ahead and go down to the doubles here. Uh, and we're going to run. Yeah, let's run to the left side here. But we're going to uh, take Decker and pull him over to act like maybe we do something there, but we're actually trying to just run left. And that's perfect. That's almost perfect. Uh, oh, I didn't think he got in. I was hoping he didn't get in there because that way we could run more clock and, manip and you know, be a little smarter. I'm going for two here, mainly just because I want to go for two. I think he'll going to be wide open. Yep. Oh, he dropped it again. Dang it. It's like four drops for Hillman. All right, so we're up 17. Um, so that's three possessions, like I was saying earlier. Uh, three three scores is huge. Uh, and so right now we're just going to sit back. And that's why, similar to the way we did it in the second half, uh, we're, we're kind of playing the, the outside a lot. Um, but at the same time, we're not trying to get, we're not going to get lackadaisical. We're not going to completely negate it. It's just if we have to, if it comes down to it and we have to stop something, uh, we're going to try and stop the outside uh, first. So here we go. Curls, post route. Come on, Camardi. Come on, Camardi. Nice play, buddy. And it's decision time here, and this is just kind of where you say, I have enough faith in my offense to take enough time off the clock. Um, that's a situation where you, I mean, I looked at it first, as you saw, I was, you know, I was running sideways, I was kind of checking out the field, and I saw, okay, I'm not going to be able to return this all the way back, so why not take it all the way down back to the other end of the field so that I have more room to work with with my offense. That way, I have, I have now time... I have clock on my side and the scoreboard. You know, field position is not a huge deal uh, when it comes to when it comes to if I have to punt. Like if I go three and out here, because I'm still going to get the ball all the way down to the twenty on the other end. So it, it kind of just comes down to now. It's just a matter of time of possession. Uh, and that, I mean that right there. I mean you saw the the two curls. That was in combination with the um, the streak. He probably would have had more success if he would have had the streak on the right there. He ended up going with the post. I just ran the max coverage cover three bluff play, uh, the base play set up with the, the man up guys. Uh, I just made a couple of adjustments out of it, but you saw the effect and effectiveness of it uh, when called at the right time there. And we knew he was having trouble with that based off of what he's been showing us all game. And Welker has 98 catch of traffic. And that's why I feel so comfortable hitting him across that middle drag every single time. Okay. Uh, probably going to be drop back D. I have to go to my money play, though. I have to go to Cowboy Way out here. Because if you think about it, this just we, we know this play well enough where it's going to go. And we have the out route. We saw he backed off the coverage at the last second. Demarius Thomas. Um, so we'll take that. Alright, so now we're going to check into our flex tight here, and um, let's just run some, let's just run curl flats to one side and smash to the opposite side here. That's why we ran smash for cover two, but my receiver got bumped. Now we're going to wait, pass lead down to X, and he drops the ball, oh, man, these drops are killing us, man, that's why I was thinking about uh, starting Jacob Tammy over Thomas, Jacob Tammy has a little bit better catch in traffic, but Thomas is a little bit more physically gifted, so, it comes down to just what, whatever you want, there's the uh, out route, and like I said, you know, you have to at least look at it uh, when they're off coverage, it has to be a priority. And, I mean, we've just been torching him with it all game long because he continues to play a stubborn defense and is trying to show us it's covered, but it's not really. And so that's why you always got to at least give it a look-see. All right, here. 
this is um, slip screen time. Just trying to take clock here. That's good blocking on the edge. Make sure you're staying in bounds right now. Uh, this is definitely not the time to, to be running out. I want to get back into the flex tight and show you some other stuff I like out of this. Uh, this is not the flex tight, unfortunately. We find the flex. I was in the wrong. There's the flex tight. All right, let's take a look at the uh, quick base here. Whether because we're around the field, second to four, this situation here where you're just kind of run the ball with the clock the way it is right now. You're just kind of wrapping up, uh, closing off the edge here. So. The defense gave me a good look for the quick base, so I'm gonna take it. And remember, you always have that as an option. I mean, you ever wanna, if you ever wanna go to it. I mean, we, I think it was our our primary um, blitz pressure breeder beating play. But Cowboy Y out beats the blitz so well as well, so it's just kind of like, you know, redundant. But again, if you ever need to use this uh, formation, you certainly can. Corner strike here. I think he's gonna drop back D. Actually, want heavy pressure. That's why we have the zigs. The zigs are the be uh, the the pressure beater portion of the of that um, play. Whereas we also have the the uh, deep corners. He's been kind of and the flex tight would have been a great formation. Of it. It just he's just been giving me cowboy way out almost all game here. Hold on the ball, No. Sean. Good catch by No. Sean. Um, we're gonna quick snap that halfback quick base out of that. Uh, he's been giving me that a lot this game. We're looking for a no shot Marino out of the backfield here. Hold on the ball, buddy. Good play. That's a big catch by no shot Marino to keep the drive going. Uh, Halfback slip screen here all the way. Because I knew that was coming right there. Sets it up perfectly. Can I break that? Can I break that? Oh, no, Sean Marino. Just give up on the play, buddy. Gosh, dang it. Hmm. Okay. Cowboy way out here. I think it's going to... Well, no, we shouldn't do that. Let's go to the zone beater. And let's take a look at our... I think China... China's a... I don't... Yeah, I like this play because we have the post option. We have the two court. Yeah, let's go China here. Man coverage. There's your corner route. That's there you go. So good drive by me. Um, go ahead and get the. Uh, go ahead and get on top there. Um, that's a huge, huge possession. Uh, the interception was really big, but that drive right there. The, you know, the second half we haven't had the best. You know, we put up, I think we put up 42 in the first half. The second half, we've only put up two scores. But those, both of those touchdowns were long drives and very efficient. Took a lot of clock off. And now, I mean, he's touched the ball twice, th maybe three times in the second half. And now this is going to be probably his last possession. And you just see the preserv preservation of what we were doing earlier. Early on, we're going to go. We're going to go no huddle. We're going to go quick snap. We're going to... You know, we're going to push it to the to the limit. But second half, we have that big of a, of, of a lead. We're just going to go for efficiency right there. And you saw that's what, when I go efficient offense, and, and that's why I like to use all those other plays that I have at my disposal. So more specifically, especially that, that wide flex, I pretty, I usually just save that formation. I, I rarely have to, to go to it. So remember that streak. He likes that streak. I used it at that time. He didn't know what to do. And then there's your sack. Um, now we're going to go into man with two purples. We're kind of going to say uh, I have to guard Rice, though, or I have to guard Smith. Press him. There we go. That's a user. And that's a user cover. I mean, that's just me user covering it. Luckily, Woodyard made a crazy jump on the ball. Um, but I think it had to do with the fact that I was holding ball hawk. Um, so a good game by this guy. Um, again, another great game of the week. I hope this gives you a little more insight as to how I like to run the Denver playbook. He may give us this last. Uh, we'll go ahead and accept it. Well, no. We'll, we'll see if he'll let us show you some more offense. But, but uh, guys, this has been a great game. Another great opportunity for you guys to get a little bit of a uh, sample as to how I would run this play.
Um, is how I run this this offense in in game, especially the defense. You know, we gave up a lot of points, and, that, and that's just that's just part of it. But again, we got a couple. Of, we got a really a couple of good. Uh, we got a couple of really good pressure plays uh, out of this stuff. So and, and and a couple of good turnovers, and that's kind of what I like about this defense. You know, we gave up. We I don't think we gave up anything after that first touchdown in the second half. So. You know, a great job uh, of adjusting, and that's part of what this defense is. It gives you the opportunity to adjust to what your opponent does. And don't don't let that be lost on you. Adjusting to what your opponent does is one of the most important things you can do in your game this year. Thank you guys so much for watching the Game of the Week, and we'll see you guys again next week with another great Game of the Week. I think we're using the Niners next week, so i got a couple of special things uh, in li lined up for you guys there. So thanks for watching, guys. really appreciate it. And if you guys would, I would really appreciate if you share this video on Twitter and like it. It really helps me out. It gives me some exposure. And also, if you have any questions or need further, the explanation about this scheme or what I've been what I was doing in the game let me know and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching guys hope you have a great day and we'll see you guys next week